My name is Ronnie Cruz, and this is Path, Path of the Network Path Marketer. The Network All right, welcome back to the show. Thanks for tuning in. Today, I want to talk about the possibilities. That's right, the possibilities. I, I want to kind of pump the brakes a little bit. I, I know I have the tendency to just, uh, yeah, full steam ahead. And, and get really passionate about the different topics and subjects that I talk about, especially with the online marketing stuff, because it's so new and exciting to me. Uh, however, I want to backtrack and really kind of slow it down and remind you, hopefully by this em- the end of this episode, that, um, well, remind you of the possibilities. I think there still can be a tendency to settle in to our lives and to the kind of routineness of it. And, and that's not a judgment, right? Like that's not um, the judgment to say that, that you need to change your life. I don't know what, what your life looks like. However, I, I, I'm willing to bet that there is an aspect of your life that um, you might want to change or, or that you, you might be, yeah, yeah, you might be thinking deep down there's a feeling that like there has to be more than this. Right, uh, you wouldn't be listening to this sh- this show if if that wasn't the case. What I think ends up stopping us is that we've forgotten to dream, right? We've forgotten to kind of think about the possibilities, and and so I wanna I wanna I really just kind of get you back into that state. I've always been a pretty vivid and avid <laughs> daydreamer. I daydream all the time. I still do to this day. Um, I think it's it's a really important. Uh, skill and i'm going to say skill right because daydreaming is is using our imagination uh, in 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 creating visions and pictures for ourselves that are favorable right uh, you know we do use our imaginations i'm not going to say that we don't i think i think however largely our imagine our imaginations are used for negative things and and create and like you know envisioning negative outcomes uh, that create worry and anxiety all right so I, you know i want to remind you that you can uh, none of none of that that worry and anxiety the, the negative use of your imagination those negative outcomes that you might be thinking about none of them, none of them none of them are real until they're real and that the more you focus on them and, and think about them and daydream about them, negative daydream sounds like a nightmare, actually. Um, if you, if you, if you, uh, you know, ruminate and, 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 and focus on these, these negative uses of imagination, then they'll, they'll eventually come to fruition. It's that self-fulfilling prophecy. Um, the possibilities are still just as realistic. Right, whatever life that that you that you see. Okay, let's just use that example. Um, you know, seeing. Uh, I know an Instagram is not reality, but like if you see you see some of these people living their their quote unquote best lives, and you know they're traveling the world and they're they're doing it um, all uh, you know funded by the 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 income that they generate through their online um, you know presence and their influence and their sponsorships, et cetera, et cetera, and and. You, you like you, you, two things can happen. Two reactions can happen. One, um, for a person like me, uh, like I've always been, like man, that that would be nice. Let me see how what it looks like to to put myself in that situation, and and let me see, let me try to imagine myself doing those things that those individuals that 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 I'm following are doing. Then the other reaction it can be, well, uh, it's nice for them, but I yeah that I I can't do that. That's not that's not a reality for me. That's not possible for me. Well, obviously, it's not a reality for you because you're not doing it right now. But whether or not it's a possibility for you, that's up to you to decide. And and so I want to remind you again in this episode, the purpose of this episode is 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 to just kind of jar you a little bit and to wake you up out of your stupor and to let you know that anything is still possible. And it doesn't matter how old you are. Look, I'm turning 47 in a few months. Um, I know. I, I got to stop claiming that. I'm still 46. All right. <laughs> Until I'm 47, I'm still 46. So I'm 46, turning 47 this year. And, you know, normally that's a time, you know, that people would say, well, like, why, why would you shift careers? Why would you like, like, it's it's kind of late in the game, isn't it? Like, you know, you're, you're, 
technically middle aged um, and you have this, this and this amount of time, like you should be thinking about, um, you know, your retirement years, et cetera, et cetera. I'm like, no, like that's just not how I think. Uh, I'm always working towards creating um, something that uh, that excites me, that 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 keeps me going and and and, you know, keeps me enthusiastic about getting up in the morning. Right. Because because if not, then then what's the point of getting up in the morning? Like if 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 I'm just going to resign myself to to, you know, getting old and dying. Right. And not that I'm not resigned to that because I know that's coming. Um, however, in the meantime, while I'm still above ground, there's still so much life to live and so many things to experience and so much of the world to discover. And and to relegate myself because I think it's too late or uh, whatever circumstance I think is limiting me, um, it's it's really not fair, not just to me, but to everybody that, that, that I come in contact with, everybody in my life. Um, Especially if you know with with the people that I care about and and that I directly impact, right? Like uh, like you you are doing nobody any favors by playing small. You really not. You're really not. And and I guarantee you, you you're playing small. I know I'm playing small. I know I definitely am playing small. And 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 so I work every day to um, to make sure that I remind myself of the possibilities and that there there is so much more out there that I can do given that we all have un, unlimited capabilities within ourselves. So stop playing short. Allow yourself to daydream and imagine what it would be like to have whatever it is that you want to have. And, and stop talking yourself, it, it, well, stop, stop telling yourself that those are unrealistic, right? Like, I, I, I can't believe that we live in a day and age where parents still tell their kids that, okay, you just got to be realistic. Like, what, what, what are you going to do for, for work? Like, what, what you, are you, were you going to get a job, right? Like, that was normal for my generation, and, and I still hear it, actually, and I, I'm surprised I still hear it um, for, for this generation, right? I hear it, I hear it, um, yeah, with, with these young adults and these, um, these kids that are, like, in their late teens and, and 20s, um, you know, and, and I love that they have um, all these amazing tools and the internet and everything at their disposal and I love how people are really just just being super creative and 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 lifting any lid that they might have had on what uh, what you know making a living looks like but there are still there are still people that are like yeah we just got to be realistic you can't be an influencer what does that even look like right can you you can't make a living making videos on Instagram yeah you can millions of people are doing it it's just learning how it's just learning how so so yeah like there's so much possible out there and and you know you're doing yourself a dis disservice you're doing your loved ones a disservice by by not allowing yourself to imagine the possibilities uh, so that's what i would remind you today remember to to dream remember to day daydream and remember to imagine the possibilities you used to be able to do it when we were kids we could do it really easily i mean we played pretend all the time i still do i still do uh, and I encourage you to do the same, right? I encourage you to do the same. So that's my message for today. Um, don't forget about the possibilities. Remember the possibilities. Remember to use your imagination for good and, and to create amazing, amazing outcomes and, and live, live the, the life of your dreams, right? So that's going to do it. More from me tomorrow. So until then, be well, be safe. We'll see you in the next episode.